Happy July 1st. Jeez, July 1st already? Oh, boy. July 1st meeting of the Ware Board of Selectmen. If we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank
uh, of the Board of Selectmen uh, to say, whatever you want, you'll get. Certainly there's an ex-police officer there, a retired police officer on the board. Uh, that's a given. Um, kind of related to the fire department still, I guess, I don't know. Uh, you know, the department's got to get along, so that's probably a given. And I, I think, you know, the six people at the table here, um, one missing. Uh, it's a given. He's going to get what he wants. Uh, the department heads get what they want first. The taxpayers come second. Uh, that's certainly evidence of uh, very plainly no tax relief last December, last October. Um, you've probably set a precedence for that. That may happen again. Um, and savings. Any savings in the budget? You know, what happens to savings? You mentioned savings a couple of few weeks ago, you know, about buying a piece of equipment. I can't dispute that. You know, I mean, it sounds reasonable to me. I hope it lasts, okay? Uh, but, you know, when there's savings, um, you know, what happens to savings? They don't come back to the taxpayer. They get plowed into the following year's budget. So the taxpayers certainly come second. Um, department heads come first. Um, and along with uh, my, my statement of the police chief when I said the selectmen, uh, I certainly will include the Finance Committee. Uh, there's very little that they reject. Some of it, for me, is, uh, you know, very legitimate that they support. Others, you know, I would pick, and, myself personally, I would pick and choose. Um, so, a uh, little bit where he came from, where, what I saw um, on the town's website down there. Uh, there. There seemed to be some opportunities. The word opportunities was used. Uh, um, different uh, departments, uh, they have canine, which we had. That may be one of the first things. Get it back again. But remember why it was dissolved, please. You know, certainly you have a good memory of why it was dissolved. Uh, Harbor Patrol. Well, you know, we don't have a harbor, but we have Lake Horace. We have um, Moody, uh, Daniels Lake, you know, one at the top of the hill. You know, well, maybe we need an officer to patrol, you know, our form of harbor. Uh, traffic. Uh, certainly we have traffic. Maybe he's going to create a traffic department. Uh, I, I don't know. Again, these are some of the things that, I, that concern me that's going to affect my taxes that you folks are going to support. Uh, SWAT team. Well, you know, maybe small scale. I know we have assault rifles, uh, which were supposed to be returned after five years. I don't know what happened to them. Um, but they were supposed to be, a, by the last police chief, they were supposed to be a um, SOP, for lack of a better uh, for, for the use of those. Who knows what's happened? Um, and I saw a photo of a motorcycle. Didn't, didn't say it in words, but, um, you know, we've had bicycle patrols in the past. A couple people donated, you know, somebody donated bicycles, so, you know, maybe we're in line for a motorcycle department. You know, maintenance, replacement, et cetera, et cetera. So I think he's, uh, uh, I, I'm sure he's been well-versed already uh, by some sitting in front of me that uh, probably whatever he asked for he's going to get. Um, and one last thing, contract. Uh, it's the most ridiculous thing to have a public hearing after a contract is signed. But we have had them, you know, two with Kelly, uh, the town administrator. Um, be nice to know what's in the contract. And I don't want to hear, well, it's here, there, you can look at it. That's not a public hearing by any means. You guys have it good. You can, com you can commit me as a taxpayer to contracts, all right, without me having a say before. And when I say, when I say a say, I'm talking about a vote in March, yes or no. I'm not talking about this, you know, well, we'll, we'll just... 
you know, appease the people and we'll give them a public hearing after it's done and do all that. So they say the taxpayers come last. I'm sure it will continue. Uh, I hope it doesn't take a, too much of a bite out of my wallet. Uh, it seems like the demographics of the town is changing with the prices of some new homes. Uh, but that's, that's what people want, I guess. And, uh, you know, they're willing to pay, pay the price, I guess. But do they know all the facts? You know, talk about transparency. Um, it's a slippery slope of a word, I guess. So that's all I have, and uh, <coughs> after I leave your, your last part of the agenda, then you can talk about me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Anybody else for public comment? All right. Well, I guess we'll move on to the political sign ordinance discussion. We'll recognize Tom Cloud. Tom Clow, 125 Concord Stage Road, where? I'm here tonight to discuss the uh, political sign, signage policy and how it applies to the sign in front of the town hall. Uh, the sign or the, the signage policy simply reads, posting of political signage on or in any property owned by the town of Ware is prohibited Posting in other areas will be in accordance with state law. Now, the policy was passed by the Board of Selectmen in 2004. And basically, I agree with that policy. Okay. Uh, in 2011, revisions were made to the zoning ordinance, which also includes a sign ordinance. And the following was added. This is uh, section or chapter 34. And 34.9.8 is prohibited signs. And it says signs on school or town owned property, except on any day on which town or state elections are being held, except as otherwise allowed by the school district or town, and which are in conformity with other provisions of this ordinance. Uh, I think I could, being an ex English teacher, cleaned up the language on that. Uh, <laughs> actually, I was on the uh, planning board at the time that this was passed, so somehow this went right by me, language and all. <laughs> so uh, at that time, actually, the street in front of the middle school, as well as the town common, was off in line with political signs, in spite of the fact that this out of the ordinance had been passed in 2004. So the planning board was in as part of the signing ordinance wanted to get that off the street so to speak but in neither one of these does it make any reference to the town hall sign the one in front of the town hall which is often used for any group that's using the town hall actually I think and Naomi can verify this usually they have priority if, if it's available uh, to if you're renting the town if hall. you're renting the town hall right so uh, the question is, do either of these policies prohibit putting the name of a candidate for office who is to speak in the town hall on the sign in front of the building if there's nothing on the sign except the announcement of his or her appearance? So what I'm maintaining on behalf of myself and the local Democratic Committee, which we have several people from here tonight, is that policy should not apply if there is simply an announcement of who will be speaking and nothing encouraging a person to vote for that person or that candidate. So it's simply a matter of announcing that so-and-so is speaking on a, on a given night at a given time. Now the local committee is not supporting a given candidate before the February 11, 2020 uh, primary but feels that the public should hear from as many candidates as possible. This is a unique year because uh, counting all the political parties, we could have as many as 30 people running for president. And we feel it's a service to the community to have as many of these candidates as possible appear locally. And this should apply to all political parties. 
Presently, there are 6,138 registered voters in the town of Weir. I checked this out last week with the town clerk. Of that number, 2,710, or about 44 percent, are registered as independents or undeclared, which same same thing. All these voters, as well as those affiliated with parties, will be able to go to the polls on February 11th. 2020, choose a ballot, and place their votes. We all want those votes, or those voters, to be well informed, as well as informed as possible. And it's unlikely that many people would show up to hear a speaker if they didn't know who was speaking. And so allowing us to put, or, or any group, Republicans, independents, whoever, to put the name of the candidate that's speaking in the town hall on the sign would certainly increase the likelihood that people come and hear the candidate and be able to make fair comparisons. So, you know, we believe that the local policies do not prohibit putting a speaker's name on the town sign if the person is speaking in the town hall, and we hope that you folks will agree with that. Now, I had 45 minutes prepared, but I noticed you had a short agenda, so I feel I'd go right through it. Uh, also, I have copies of the remarks here, so that if you have to go back to this later, you'll have it, and if you don't use them for that, you'll have them for your scrapbooks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's yeah, been there for well, a long time. It's, it's, <laughs> you won't be the only one. I love when people include me. I didn't keep one for myself, but I, I know what it said. Yeah. You got to save uh, some. Uh, really I don't know if is there anyone else would like to add to this? Uh, uh, Rick kindly opened it up. Yes, so I did. So. Anyone else want to speak to it? Sure. Come up, state your name, and have at it. Um, my name is uh, Derek Windsor, 244 South Stark Highway. And um, just mainly I want to say, I want to thank Tom for making that presentation and to say, and generally speaking, I, I agree with almost everything he says here. And um, I agree in, in great part with the spirit or the thrust behind these uh, ordinances that were passed and, and with the general concept that a town should not be perceived as promoting a, a political candidate over others. I'm wholeheartedly in agreement of that. But I also understand the nuance in this situation. And one thing I might throw out for consideration too if it would make it any more palatable to have a candidate's name on a on, on a sign on a town owned property is uh, to suggest that perhaps the group that is sponsoring that candidate be listed with the, the few the rather limited space we have on these uh, town signs if we can figure out some way to maybe include the the, the group that's sponsoring or, or hosting the candidate on there so that might add some further clarification that it's not the town uh, sponsoring the candidate, but the, but the group who, yeah. who's reserved the space. Yeah. So again, I think I think you're going to run into exactly what you said—the uh, cramped up sign. Yeah, right? well, that's you're going yeah. to run out of characters and run out run out of area. Yeah, exactly. Quickly, I, yeah. you'd have to be creative. But right. right. I didn't want to just throw that out as an option too, because again, I do agree with the spirit behind this. Right. You know, you don't want a town endorsing any political yep. candidate or the perception of that. So, right. thanks. That's all I had. All right. Thank, thank you. you. John Van Walker Hill Road. Um, while I'm not affiliated with any party, um, I'm one of the 2,000 plus that Tom had mentioned. Um, <laughs> I actually agree with the idea, um, but I understand there's probably going to be a lot of opposition towards this, and my thought would be, as this gentleman was specifying, but maybe a little bit just not endorsed by town or something like that. Um, but I think having having the the advertising of who's out there is going to definitely bring a lot more attention to all the many, many, many people out there running this year. Hmm. So, mm -hmm. just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? 
Is there anything in the rules and regulations for the town hall for you know using the town hall? That's is there anything just, in that? No. I was just reading that right here and I don't see anything. Right. It's usually talking about the rental, not the sign. Right. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, because I, I thought the same thing. I mean, we got the ordinances, we got the zoning, but is there anything actually on the form to sign it out? Right. I don't see anything. Other, other than if we have the right to remove it, if we think it's deemed inappropriate, that's about the only thing it says about the, the sign. So I don't see anything in so it. The only factor would be that it's on town property. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a board thing. I mean, I, I kind of lean to agree that it's more informational than anything, especially on the sign, on that sign of, of who's going to be there, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, a political candidate or, or you know, a demonstrator or or whoever you know uh, the only ones we never had up there as a name is political candidate I've right. seen other right all kinds of yeah they have names yeah. and whatnot so exactly. I think everybody should be treated equally right mm -hmm. yeah and like like Thompson I mean yeah you put a one of the candidates yeah. names up there it's in no way reflecting the town sponsoring mm -hmm. it or right. requesting a vote for that person right 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 Again, it just you know, and like gentleman said, it's just going to be a, there's going to be a cramped space of how much you can put right. on it, you know, and what is it? Four, four, four rows. <laughs> I think it's four rows. Yeah. Four rows. I mean, the other thing, are you are you going to put Democrat where Democrats, and then like one of the candidates, date and time. You would have your four lines. Yeah. But it would, would have where Democrats. Well, if you have to yeah. please. <laughs> I've got Cotton Fifty Three Colby Road and where, and uh, we do. It, it's it's all inclusive. It is not just intended for mm -hmm. registered Democrats to attend. It's it's intended oh, yeah. for all Republicans, all Libertarians. And all the right. undeclared mm -hmm. independents, and um, the intention is just to bring these folks here. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have particular, you know, opposition to any particular candidate, you know, you don't have to go. Mm -hmm. But I think it is a service to our community, especially where nearly half of our voters are undecided, that we bring these folks into town. And give folks the opportunity to easily yeah, get to a place where they can hear what a person has to say. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for our con for considering Absolutely. the class. Okay. The one thing you do um, hear too is about having town hall events, candidates' town hall events. I mean, they're, they're televised on TV. You see them being asked questions from the audience and so forth. So that would give the opportunity for them to speak. Right. Right. There's two things. Um, the first one is, um, without us having a public hearing, do we have the right to suspend the town ordinance? Mm. And I don't think that we do. I mean, I think that the town ordinance was passed, it was voted on, and I don't think we have the, the right just to suspend it for this one or that one. Um, the other thing is, is we open ourselves up to probably some other issues, because we already had one candidate come through and we refused them uh, or allowed to refuse to allow them to put their name up on that mm -hmm. sign and I think that um, but then again nobody but asked us to change no. it either right. nobody no, asked no, but no, I think no. it's, becoming the, issue. it's yeah. becoming the issue so I mean I don't think there's anything that precludes them from putting a sign someplace other than on town property saying that they're speaking on this date and time mm -hmm. it's put it in the you know um, the, the, the little um, newspaper from the um, right. library or um, something along that way, or putting it on Channel Six. I mean, that's where it is right now. Uh, and I think that that, um, at that point, I, I don't feel comfortable in suspending the town ordinance unless we have a 
a hearing on it or put it back before the voters who voted for it. Was it was it actually voted on or signed by the selectmen? No, this is yours. This is, is, is your this own. Is the town ordinance for that? Okay. Yeah, that, but I mean, it, we had to have a public hearing for it, though. Any ordinance is supposed to have a public hearing. So I mean, I thought I don't I don't know if I feel comfortable with that entirely. Just changing it tonight, I mean, without having a couple of public hearings. Yep. Okay. All right. But I think it's political signage, meaning voting for somebody, oh. vote for this person, vote for that person. That can uh, be that can be construed to be a lot of things, and I think that unless we, yeah, I think I, I think, think that's a more of a legal question, and I think at that point, I think right now, political signage, it's putting somebody's name up that's running as a, a presidential candidate, it could be considered political signage. Well, I think, and and I think that that's, I don't want to say it's vague, but it's. It's yeah. pretty. It's pretty, as vague as it's pretty light yeah. substance. It's light you know. substance, but um, you know. But I mean, what uh, was the spirit and the intent of it at the time? It's, right. And I think without contacting a legal counsel and be maybe having a hearing on it, I think that we'd be. Well, I think I think we should at least figure out the the proper. Yeah. You know, the proper. I, I don't think we can way just to do suspend this it rather than just suspending it because yep. I think I think that there's going to be at least had a, at least a public hearing on it yep. because it's altering what what's in place. The other question, do we have a signed copy on that? Because that's uh, all I it see. It says it's one in the binder. Okay. Yep. All right. I want to make I sure. Didn't go look I I saw his blanks on the signature. I didn't and I went, eh. That'll look but good. But I don't, can I just, I don't know that they're asking you to suspend it. Just, well, I, think I they're, mean, they're asking for maybe this for board's interpretation oh. other than this board. Mm. Because posting a political signage, how do you consider political signage? So and so. I, I, I mean, if you put a sign out on the front lawn saying that so and so is running for president, that's political signage. Or so and so right. running for Senate. So this one it says right. political candidate, so and so political presidential candidate. To me, that's. I'm just saying. I think it's could be construed to be political yeah. signage, and I think that you know, I think. And I I would want to craft that in such a way that it would be yeah. only only the sign, the town owned sign, and not, you know. Two or three days beforehand, and again, whoever it may be, doesn't come up with thirty of their own signs and plant them in the ground. Yep. You know, in front I of the want building. To make sure that exactly, or all on the landscape. I want to make sure that don't happen. If they want to, right. you know, yeah, if they want to put a sign on the side of the right. state road and it can in compliance different with the story. state law, yeah, that's different a different story. story. But, but I mean, you know, yeah, if they, that's if what they I'm saying. Litter the hill over there. I'm, I got a oh, problem with that. Yeah. You know, so. I guess I guess I would want to find a a better verbiage than what that is because I again I think that's very light in substance, yeah. mm -hmm. you know it personally, um, but I think I think I think Jack might be right about the public hearing as well. So I just want clarification before we yeah. before we charge into it and then have to backpedal. That sound good to the board? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, I'd say so. Okay. Yeah. It's not it's not a dead topic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's not it's not a dead topic, but we want to make sure all our eyes are dotted and T's are crossed. Just um, I know for a fact from the the ordinance, which is part of the sign ordinance, that uh, yeah, I mean you only have my word on it, but we were talking about all the signs that were cluttering the roadside in right. front of the town property, and sometimes people would sneak them in in the front of the town hall, you know. Yeah. And actually what happens now is there's a little piece of land on the other corner in front that belongs to somebody else. And yeah. so somebody will always put their sign there. And then it's the safe. next person who comes around is confused. They just put it on the lawn. Yeah. And then you get into this mm -hmm. whole problem. I mean, that that's what that was about uh, when it was passed as part of the sign ordinance. Uh, obviously, I wasn't on the board back when uh, that was almost but not quite yeah i was uh, say you must have been close yeah <laughs> uh but you know I, I actually we're asking for an interpretation of it and it it doesn't mention the town hall sign anywhere is in there and i know from the for uh, a fact that when we were talking about it through the planning board that it was the the signage that basically the individual candidates were putting up along in front of the, particularly in front of the middle school there, the whole road was lined oh, yeah. with them, uh, until that sign ordinance was put into Adopted. effect. It says, uh, it says on or in any property owned by the town aware. The sound's <laughs> owned by the town aware, so you're putting it on that. That's, so, I mean, that's. Yeah, that's but it's, so a, it's the interpretation of the And I think that's signage. pretty clear that it's on property of the town aware. The sign is owned by the town aware. Right. So, I mean, I think at that point, that's why I, I'd like to get something a clarification yeah. to see if we can waive that yeah. and not do that because 
as it's been brought up, we seem earlier seems like you know some people get the idea that we just do whatever the hell we want to do, Who and I think that, that that's. Um, I don't want that impression. I want to make sure oh, that we do oh, this the right way if yeah. we're going to do it. And, again, I, I don't think it's going to change for this candidate that's coming. It may not change for the next one that shows up. But, like I said, it's not a dead issue. We'll find out about it, and we'll, we'll move yeah. over. I mean, it's a, to me, it's a simple topic to either yay or nay it. You know, I don't, I don't think it's yeah. – but, but I, I, you know, again, it's on or in any property, and that the sign is right. on the property. So. It's the political signage thing that I think mm -hmm. needs interpretation, and I think you're right that you really have to go back and make that a little more extensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's lacking substance. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it's announcing that a person is going to speak in the town hall. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's not saying vote for uh, Joe Biden or Mayor, uh, former Governor Weld or uh, – Mm. President no. Trump, you're right. whoever. You're right. It's yeah. simply you're right. saying but there's a person speaking at the town who's hall. A, who's a presidential at, candidate. At, at, it's a presidential right. candidate at so. 7 o'clock on Friday mm -hmm. night. Yeah. That's it. So that's not coming up to speak about oh the weather the weather change. He's coming <laughs> up to speak about his political <laughs> views. So it's now, that's what I'm saying. Back it's now political. a political. Oh, yeah. But it's, so. it's everybody. Yeah. No, no, I, I agree. Again. Yeah, it's across the board of every everybody. Every candidate. Yep. Right. Anyone yep. we can get. So, I mean, any. That, uh, I agree. And I think that, that we uh, have to clarify that before we do it. Libertarian, mm -hmm. whoever, so that yeah. people can. I just, I just want to, I would just want to clarify it before we get too carried away, that's all. Yeah. Just just to make sure, because like you said, it, you know, there's a lot of people drive by that sign every day. And, and you've mentioned it's kind of in poor shape, so. I know. Actually, let me go <laughs> a little. I'm going to get you off subject a little bit. People have been using. Um, uh, duct tape. Duct tape on that sign. Yes. Yeah, we were talking <laughs> oh, about that the other night. I redid the tracks. You and did. Painted the whole yes. thing. Yes. Now it's peeling off because the duct tape comes off and the yeah. paint comes with it. So. Yeah, we were chatting about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not to forget it. <laughs> so. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, can we contact mm -hmm. the proper people and mm -hmm. go from there? We meet in two weeks and hopefully we have it decision by then and we can go from there, whether it's schedule a public hearing or. Just change ourselves. We'll go from there. Thank you, guys. All right, we'll move along to department head committee items. Mr. Stefano. Because I don't see any of the department heads here, so. Is there a <laughs> list? This is a list. Did you not get one? I was, remember, I was, late. I was late for the meeting. That's right, you were late for the party. Okay, D list. That's going to happen on June 15th, or July 15th. I broke it down for you all. What does the X mean? The big X the means it came in. It came in signed or it came in? It came in signed. Okay. They signed it. Okay. So they know about it. Buckley they know about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They they signed for the certified letter. Correct. Buckley okay. Road. Those are the uh, mm -hmm. all seasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want to touch them. Stay those. away from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the top top five. We don't want to do anything. No. Yeah. And the bottom ones too. Yeah. Top, right. Top five and the bottom four. We don't. Right. No. <laughs> so really, you want to talk about your houses okay. and your businesses. Especially the ones down below. Yeah. There's way too many there. So the first one, she's coming in and paying month, uh, paying weekly. She'll be paid off. Okay. What, the first one under the houses? Yeah. Okay, because it says came back, not signed, so that's what I was... So but she's been coming in and paying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The other, the second one down hasn't come in at all, so I, and I don't even know if he's gotten his deed notice yet. Um, the third one down, he's been coming in, paying. Fourth one down, he came in once and paid. I haven't seen him since. Um, but it's hard to do which, that. He's deceased. Which one? Right. One, of the, one of the kids or the yeah, son? One of the kids, <laughs> a grandkid. Oh. His grandkid. Okay. Yeah. You know which one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's his grandkid. Oh. Huh? Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, fifth one down. 
Our sixth one down. Uh, fifth. Fifth. 102. He's coming in paying. For both lots? Uh, nope, just that one. Okay. The G, yeah, the one below it, he's coming in and paying. The th seventh one? What, from Conkin Stage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one, they sold the property, <laughs> and I don't know if these people even knew that there were liens, and now we can take it. Oh. Well, how did they sell it without a deed? Or right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if they well, so, if he sold it. Oh, like cash type cash thing. Yeah. Type yeah. deal. Yeah. Board of, yeah. Um, on a, on a and word. Whoever did it did the title either didn't tell them. They didn't do. They might not have done a title. Yeah, it may just be a cash deal. Here's the land. Deal. Here you go. And we're both on Conquer stage. Is that one? I don't know. I think that's the one you guys have been talking about too. About he's he's gonna build. Go buy your old house. Okay, that's what with I thought. All the, with the stuff that we keep getting pictures from the conservation committee. Oh, yeah, up okay. in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the one after that, he hasn't paid. The one after that, he hasn't paid. <laughs> the one after that one on North Riverdale, he's paying some, but not all. North Riverdale? Yeah. Yep. River Road, he's paying. Uh, the one on Hodgton, he's paying. And the one on South Stark, he's paying. And then the one on Barnard Hill, they haven't paid at all. So the X means they got their letter and okay. their deed notice? Correct. So how come the question marks mean what? Because I haven't... I haven't looked at those ones to see if they got their deed letters. They were coming in the same time I was getting taxes. Okay. Now, and I know each of them are different, but are they are they paying at a rate they'll get them on the other side of it? Yeah, they'll they'll pay it off. Okay, I'm those just, people I, usually will pay them right off. Like I said, I, I know it does. You know, just just this section, right? Uh, and I know it. They're obviously giving different monetary values right. and stuff like that, but they're paying enough that they're going to get on the other side of all this sooner Ex than later. Oh, yeah. Okay. They will. Okay. By the 15th, usually. Because I know that some of them are never going to, with the payment plans, are never going to go on the other side of anything. So I just no. want to make sure that, that, that that's not the case with that. And I've got batch. one right now yeah. that we think he has, well, I don't know, he has dementia. Okay. So it, it's a, page so two. Page two. Number 345. Yeah. Two, three, four. Two, three, oh. four. Okay, yep. Mm. So he's still paying on his 15s? Yep. Okay. So he's paying on those. But he's paying. Okay. What he can. Um, mm. What about the first one on Merrill? First one? And the last yep, one. Yep, she pays. She's almost, yeah, she's paying. But we're going to have to do a payment plan with her. Yes. And the last one, because she owns that one, too. We'll have to do another payment of plan because she did pay off the others. Okay. Or she she has like a hundred dollars left on fifteen. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought so. Okay. So whatever any if what I'm asking is if they don't pay on the houses in the business part I need you to let me know if I can deed them hmm. the if they're not paying by the 15th or get a payment arrangement well that's the thing I mean and, and I'm just going to use the I mean I try to make them pay by December mm -hmm. if they get a payment arrangement some we haven't we've I'm just thinking we got a couple of businesses in here, and then and if and if they don't start paying, then the and you know, we deed the liability is huge, huge. Right. And you know. We but put those on those bonus. two will pay. Okay. By the fifteenth. Okay.
Mm. Yeah, they either got to come in with a firm, I would say a firm payment plan. A oh, firm yeah. payment plan. Oh, yeah. Correct. And they're going to pay this or and something, that. something by the end of the year. Yeah, and, by the end of the year. Or else. Or, you know, we're not, you know, we can't. Yeah. One skip and it's, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. And it's that's, the, you know, and that's the way it's supposed to be, but mm -hmm. we've been going the other way. A little lenient, yeah. Um, and then if not, then eat them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just, yeah. We're not, we're not going to drive it. one shot feet. deal. Right. It's a one shot deal. The only thing that, again, and it rolls back to a concern we've had for a long time, is the top section and the bottom section. And we're not going to We just leave anything. them alone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know? There's yeah. ways of solving the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. The two deceased ones. Yep. Yeah. Both oh, of yeah. them? Both of them or just one? Well, one of them we're, t we're still in cahoots mm -hmm. with, right? There's three. The top, the top bottom. The top one There's, is that's owned. By I'm looking at the three and four. Oh, three and four, yeah. Yeah, the Those top are, one. Is top the, one. That's that's we already what we made the arrangement. We already making arrangements. We already yeah. took care of that one. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, I thought we were talking about that. <coughs> yeah, but I the, don't think that's been completed. But it's, it's, yeah, it's in the works. It's in the works. Right. But three and four. Uh, yeah, three and four. Right. Yeah, because when when I sent you back in March. The deed list then, it was 115000 mm -hmm. Now we're down to sixty nine. Right. And is that is that back to current, as, as far back, or is this just one year? Just that one year. This, this is just 16s? Yep. Okay. Now, of these, um, and again, we'll, we're, we're hounding the middle section, but that's where I want to hound. Of these, where are they at with 17, 18, and 19? Not unpaid. They're unpaid. They have to be yeah, unpaid. they're unpaid. Yeah. Yeah. So. But they wouldn't be here. Right. right. Exactly. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But we can't do anything until right. that well, next year. Right. And usually I try to tell them, okay, so you're paying in December. Let's start a payment plan in January. Get it done for July. Are there any of these that are pending? Uh, you say 16, but are there any of them that are 15s? That are in this too. The only one I think she said was the, the last page. Yeah, Mar uh, yeah, Martel. Two, three, the part, the, plan, the payment plans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Those are the only ones from the fifteen. Correct. <laughs> and Kelly has like a hundred bucks left, and she pays two fifty every two weeks. Okay. And the other one on the top of the business and houses only has what a hundred and. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's nothing to really. Yeah. It came back not signed. But if they're paying it, then they're paying it. Then they're paying right. it, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess yeah. I just you know firm firm arrangements that we can definitely get on the side, and forecast for seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and. Yeah. Okay. And yep. like I said, one skip and it's gone. it's gone. Yeah, and anybody that comes in with a payment arrangement has to come come to the board. Yep. They have yep. to come in. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Yep. Any questions? Oh, well, maybe. All right. All right. So we leave the campgrounds alone, right? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, I think there's, I mean. And I've you, tried to get a hold of these people. Yeah. I've tried every. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for the, well, I don't want to say for the amount we've, we're into them for. Bankruptcy I mean. one, you have to wait for that. To yeah, I course. can't do anything with yeah, that that's bankruptcy. Yeah, that's locked, right. Yeah. But I think if you know, the other thing you could do is notify the, um, the board of directors up there. Yeah. They'd be very active in. Yeah. The bankruptcy court? No, no, no. All the, the others. others. The, all, all the, the others, yes. The board of yes. directors don't know because we still have one that we put up for auction that we... Didn't sell. Um, if the board wants to, I think we're going to just transfer it back. Yeah. I got to have it, Laura That's the one that... Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And it would yeah. probably be the best thing with that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. And some of but, these are probably in better shape than others, I'll tell you but what happens, though, in that situation is you're going to have these here that... They're gonna want you to take them, so that you gave it back to them with no taxes. Mm -hmm. So we already <laughs> made the mistake once, so we we We're not, yeah burn me once, yes, right. burn me twice. So on the me. one that we took <laughs> and tried to sell, um, that's the one we've talked about, just giving it back to the yeah. park, because or else you owe the rent. Right. But what's gonna happen with these guys is all seasons can say, I'll just let you take them, mm -hmm. and then they get them for nothing. Yeah. Right. No. If we're foolish enough to take them. So. Right, which we don't want to do that. We already made, we already made that. We don't want to get in that practice. But, but how yeah. long 
how long do you let this game go? Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna continue to stay there. Well, that's my thing. Is is I think that the, the, the that one right there, those, it's a one year thing. If they go over one year, they get a they get a plan, and and that way there were a you know it's gonna be small dollars. See, this when it's is all what you're looking done. at is sixteens. You get seventeens, eighteens, and half a nineteen. Right. So the only other thing to do is go up and. But there's no obligation of the, the directors to come do anything. That's right. There's nothing. Right. The only thing you're going to see them step in is if they don't pay a lot of rent. Mm-hmm. But what's going to prevent the first one to just, to the town and just continue to pay your lot rent and stay? Mm -hmm. Right. There's no well, teeth in anything. No, unless you go up and put a padlock on the door and say it's now. But we don't you own can't. it. You can't. You don't own it. You own it. That's the, that's the only way you that's can That's exactly. It. And then you get the park rent. So, I mean, you're, you're it's any, a vicious circle. Doomed if you do and you're doomed is there, if I mean, I, I hate to say, yeah. is there any way we to hold anything over the, the, the park itself? No, because they don't that, own the, they own just the property underneath that trailer. Yeah, which they get lot rent for. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, but. So as long as your lot rent is current, I don't think they care. Right. And yeah, but how do you, how do you hold, hold that place accountable then? The, the actual, the, lo know, the, the, the lot owners, can you hold them accountable? Up, up the taxes on the lots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Make them it's an interesting argument. It's like the co-conspirators and, and yeah. trying to, to help. Make, well, to make them yeah, because take action. They're like co-conspirators to help the them duck the... Park when, or the park owners, yeah. they pay for all the, the lawn, yeah. the land, right. and then they don't right, pay... Right, but it, there's nothing to say that if I want to continue to pay my park rent and Correct. blow off the town of where, you aren't yeah. going to come get it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just See, gonna I think it should be that automatically, if it doesn't get paid... That the owner of the park should be responsible yeah, the, the because it's on his land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the yeah, park association. Yeah. Either he picks gets it, it out of there. So that's what I'm saying. They're acting like unnamed co-conspirators. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Accomplices. Yeah. 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 That it gets uh, added to his tax bill. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other thing. Well, the other thing is get a truck, go up, hook on them, drag them down to a lot someplace, and put them up for public auction off of their property. There you go. Yeah. Have then. Yeah. Yeah, well, isn't there, there used to be a lot of property in the land. Yeah, and, and the one, the one at Concord Stage, used to be we have no issues. No. None. No. No, I know. Sergeant, St Sergeant Station, we don't either. It's, it's but here and there. Yeah. But they're deceased. Yeah, oh, that's probably what a problem. What can you do? That's probably, yeah. that's probably the problem, yeah. Yeah, but you've got the landowner there willing to do something. Correct. Exactly. Both of them. Yeah. 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 So, all right, well. He's already been in, right? And Cat, who? who? The landowner of Sergeant Station. He called and then I gave him your number. No, he said he came in and saw you one day. He was in a cast. He was in a, he'd had rotator cuff surgery. He had his sling on. Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then Cat, um, the other, the second one down, they always pay. Before time, before the DB. Yeah, we took his last one. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that's the dad. Oh. That one's the dad right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's been paying right along now. That's good. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. There it is. We guys, we still got to figure out something to do with the trailers, but mm. yeah. as far as some kind of accountability with the association, the lot owner, whoever it may be. Right. We got to have some kind of. You know, a proxy with them to. And I've tried to find these people, get oh, phone might, numbers. And you I might find that you don't have any issue with um, on Concord Strange because it's probably written into their lease. Correct. You know, their lease agreements are probably much more. You mm -hmm. know, a few more pages. About. Yeah. There's a lot more pages, and I'm sure it's a lot more thorough. I'm sure there's a lot more other things they. Right. are responsible for mm -hmm. probably keeping the yard clean and things like mm -hmm. that. Exactly. That mm -hmm. aren't with everything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's all in how you craft it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, good luck collecting. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> May the force be with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's today? That's it. First. First, is that, a, is that it? That's good. it. Good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Minutes. All right, hang on one sec, though. No. Um, Benji had asked you about knotweed. Yes. Let's get rid of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, not no weed. one's here. Let me see. Give me two, three, four. One for each of you. 
And there's the cherry. One for me. You make enough? I got him trained. So what he did is the last time he was here, um, he talked about spraying for the knotweed. So he had put out a quote, um, let's see, he put out uh, interested in quoting for three applications, a fall of 2019, because he talked about the 100 days, a spring of 2020 and a fall of 2020, since the contractor is responsible for the purchase of all chemicals and obtaining all permits from the state of New Hampshire. The contractor must provide proof of insurance. Please provide price, uh, quote as price per day and approximate days of application. All quotes will be received by 9 a.m. on June 28th. If you have any questions, uh, where has the right to accept or reject any and all bids? So he got two, as you can see. Um, the top one comes out of Hillsborough. And the bottom one comes out of... Line barrel. Both fairly close. Um, you can see the prices. Um, this phase one is fall of 2019. Phase two would be spring of 2020. Phase three would be fall of 2020. And as you can see, I think they thought maybe, this is just my unprofessional, uneducated, is <laughs> the first time around they're going to really douse it. Mm -hmm. Second time around they won't, a little less, and the third time a little less. Mm -hmm. The, the bottom one um, is going to do it, just divide it by three. So um, he did also, on the back page, asked all the other four, mm -hmm. four quotes, because he was led to them, and nobody did on it. All right. So I know there's not three here, but there is. The attempt's um, there. The attempt is there. There was an yeah, attempt for six. He's got the, uh, yeah. Um, they, let's see. The top one <coughs> has got their certificate of insurance, and the bottom one does too, it looks like. Yeah, they both have their certificates of insurance here. Good. So I don't know anything about either one. Where is the money going to come from? Um, he's thinking it's probably going to come out of probably his road reconstruction or uh, some other, you know, there's no, there's no maintenance money in the budget. No. We and tried that's, that. That's something we got to change, though. Um, um, moving forward, we got to change that. Yeah. <coughs> um, but uh, I, th I think that's probably a viable option, considering you know it's getting worse and worse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just a buddy of mine saying that somebody was cutting up on Hodgson. Yeah. Um, Bill Tiffany. Bill Tiffany. Cut. You have to if you're going to cut it, you, you got to cut the it with a sickle bar more bar, right. because if you cut it with anything else, it throws it everywhere around. and it starts to grow. Yeah. Uh, so uh, is yeah. Bill up there cutting? Yeah, he yeah. cut he cut us. He cut Quaker Street. Well, he didn't cut in front of my house. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <coughs> then, yeah. Why, then why am I getting hate mail from the post office? Yeah, no, well, he did. He cut all the he cut <laughs> all the knotweed. He came up on a weekend and did it. Okay. Um, yeah, because he took the sickle bar versus the rotary. Yeah, the flail. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, the flail, a rotary mower. You can't. Yeah. You just throw it everywhere, and it just it still just on the road? gets even worse. Mm -hmm. They're still on the road. What? Our, our foil mower. A mower? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's still cotton. Good. That's what I like to hear. Well, not today. It'd be nice. So. It'd be nice if they, they did this one right here. Yeah. It's yeah. Well, well, I think it's going to be one of them push, drive forward, oh, push. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Our, the, the, new, the mower we bought. Yeah, extent, yeah, yeah, I know we got to start with the arm back here mm -hmm. in the bushes and then push out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, on this, you know, this road yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Every, yeah. Pretty much everywhere. Oh, this one yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. terrible. But out there, I don't think is ours. I know we usually mm -hmm. cut it, but. That's the stage, uh, or technically. But. Yeah. So I'm not sure what you want to do, how you want to award it. Mm -hmm. Well, if I remember right, it, it, it takes 100 days to get the permit, so. You got to get somebody right. started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, days it's of gonna take you three months. That's why he's saying, you know, yeah. first one exactly. Will be yeah, August. no, 100 days from now. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be September months, yeah. 1st. Be nice. Does anybody days. know anything yep. about these people? <laughs> no, well, they all have to be licensed. Well, they yeah. can't do this. They, can't they all have to have New Hampshire yeah. uh, licensing before, before they spray. They have, I and believe, because submitted the plan. railroad did this a couple weeks ago where I'm working. They had a guy come in to spray the railroad and. They have to wait two hours for a state guy to come in and test what he was going to spray after he mixed it up. 
Right, and that's the other thing too. Is what Benji said that they have to actually they submit a plan to GPS where uh, it's yeah, located. Yeah, GPS it has to be on a map. Yep. As far as what they're going to spray, where they're going to spray, when they're going to spray, yep. et cetera, et cetera. What they're going to use, you know. Right. right. So there, there's quite a bit of state stuff that's involved. Mm. Whoever does it. Yeah, DES yeah. is all over it. Yeah. They have to license them. So. Pollution controls. Well, then I move that we. Um, a wood lawn boy landscaping LLC at 110133 for the knotweed spraying. Come from? Is that what you're oh, well, to come from? Oh, well, I don't know. That's up to him. Yeah, it'll it'll come out of his budget. His budget or the road week is right. Yeah, it's under him. All right. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. What's that? <laughs> That's all I had for department heads. Okay. We have, we have some sets of minutes. <laughs> Few. Few. We'll start with uh, 520. Mm -hmm. I get there myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just, uh, excuse me, Ricky, under the department. Yeah. I know um, Chris was here earlier. Yeah. And oh, you and him okay. had talked. Yeah. But him and I had talked last week. Okay. And I was going to give him a few more days. Okay. It's fine. On the job. I said, if, I said if he wasn't doing anything, stop by. Yeah, he stopped by and dropped off a couple things, and we talked about a couple of different okay. things that are going on. But he and I had talked about him coming in after fine. a few weeks just to get fine. the idea. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with uh, the 20th of May, page one. God, I can't read. Uh, <laughs> if glass was... What's that? Um, yeah, except, um, let's see, under public comment? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Appreciate. Should have an S on the end. Common commented that she appreciates the E news. That's how it starts on the far left. Mm -hmm. Someone? Two? Yeah, I got one on DPW. Yeah. Uh, which one? The award bid for. Paving. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right down the bottom where it says minimum purchase of 20 tons. It should be 20,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 20,000. <laughs> yeah. Small difference in numbers, yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> Anything else on two? <laughs> three? Three. Um, one, two, three, four up from the bottom. Uh, before, however, just cross off the S. It should be singular rather. Where? One single census track, however. Mm. Oh, okay. Four? Mm -hmm. Under the one, two, third paragraph, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six up from the bottom, was built is duplicated at the about oh, three quarters of the way mm -hmm. over. Yep. Okay, just cross out. Okay. I got another one on page four. Third paragraph, one, two, three, fourth sentence down on the right hand side. Transfer station not able to accept number one plastic or number seven. It should be number three through seven because number one's a money maker. Yeah. Okay. So it's three. Three oh, through seven. Get the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I said, we've been recycling one and two forever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's three through seven, so they don't accept. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on four? Five. And on five. Six. Seven. Move to approve the May 20th as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Do, 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 do. Back to email. The same thing. Do. C. 
6-3. That's Board of Firewords. That's not what I want. All right, I That's what I want. 6-3. Downloading. Thinking about it. All right. June 3rd. I don't know what I did with them. I, I had them. Yeah, they were gone. Yeah. But I did them. <laughs> this must be them. It's them. Sorry. Hiding. Yeah. Okay, page one. Now it's one, two. Two going once, twice, three. Computer. Page three and a stone wall removal. Yep. One, two, three. The fourth line down. Yep. Um, over it, it's he had DPW. Look at. Anything else on three, four, five, six. Six under the ACO position, second line. Yep. Once. Oh, just yeah. add a C to the one. One, the finalist is selected. <laughs> once the finalist. Okay. Good. Seven. 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 WMUR. Oh, good. Now on eight. Move to approve the th June third as amended. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Naomi, I got a question. Mm -hmm. How come these pages came out upside, upside down. down on one side on June 3rd? Um, maybe the operator. Yeah, um. Good <laughs> One side's good, and the next side you got to turn the thing upside down. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, it may be there's an option when you double side it. I might have hit the wrong option. There's a long way and it's a short way. It's the only ones that have done it. It's a long way and a short way. Yeah. Yeah. So I might have done it the short way, so that it would have gone in this way and back this way versus this way and this way. I'm just curious. Yeah, I have to punch that button up, so. <laughs> uh, the fifth, I don't think I sent you, obviously. Like I got to say, I was yeah. looking at like, I don't think I, I sent you the fifth. And the seventeenth, oh, I got as I was, as I was going to that last call, That's so. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so we'll table the five and the seventeen. Okay. And you have a manifest? I do. Okay. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a couple million dollars. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, he was. <laughs> At least. He was having uh, yeah. gasping for air when I can say, you can come see you, Elizabeth. All right. Um, pull it to me. I will not be comfortable for this. All right. <laughs> Want to order the treasurer to sign the payroll accounts payable checks dated July 3rd, 2019, as included in the following manifest a payroll manifest of $63,976.38. For weekly and uh, weekly and fire monthly payroll accounts payable manifest of one hundred eighteen thousand five hundred fifty three dollars and twelve cents, a supplemental accounts payable manifest of six hundred fifty one thousand five hundred dollars to the trustees per town vote, supplemental accounts payable manifest of eighty four thousand one hundred sixty eight dollars and seventy two cents, John Stark for four hundred thousand, where school district for seven hundred fifty thousand. For a total of two million sixty-eight thousand one hundred ninety-eight dollars and twenty-two cents, the following manifests were previously ordered to be signed at the June seventeenth meeting of the Ware Board of Selectmen: a payroll manifest of fifty-three thousand eight hundred twelve dollars and thirty-six cents for weekly and monthly payroll checks dated six twenty-seven, accounts payable manifest of forty-four thousand one hundred ninety-five dollars and ninety-four cents, checks dated six twenty-seven. And a fire department accounts payable manifest of $26,578.01, pre approved by the Board of Fire Awards. And as there is no selectmen being scheduled for Monday, July 8th, further order the treasurer to sign payroll checks dated July 11th, 2019, estimated to be, estimated to be about $65,000. Furthermore, to order the treasurer to sign the amount, up to the amount of $70,000 for accounts payables, including fire department accounts payable approved by the Board of Fire Awards. I cannot wait until the next scheduled meeting of July 15th, 2019. Reports and actual check amounts will be reported to the Board of Selectmen by inclusion on the manifest memo at the next scheduled meeting. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Opposed. Aye. Abstentions. I just said there was an error in one of the invoices. I other than they, that, they yeah. changed the rate halfway through that month. Oh, they did. What rate? Mileage rate. Mileage rate reimbursement. The effective January first is the rate I used. Yeah. Okay. It's too rate. You Google the IRS, and if you Google the IRS mileage rate, that's the rate that shows up for 2019. Okay. Which is. 58, 58 cents? cents something. I don't like the Google pay again. So that's not the right. The okay. reason. Which one? Is it mine? Yeah. Yeah. One of them will look like a little off. That's well, operator error again. You can void it. I don't care. No, I want to avoid it. No. Just want to make Just sure it's right. That's all. Uh, mileage. Fifty-eight cents. Fifty-eight cents versus the twenty eighteen of fifty-four point five. Yep. Yeah. So did I do it wrong? Just, just yeah. The last just one. the last one to the M M A N H. Okay. What did I do? I, th I don't know. Ooh. I'll come on over. Did not add the miles right. Did it only go one way? I think it was the mathematics. <laughs> did it only go one way? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think the mathematics is okay because. Well, he only took it for one way. It was like half. Yeah. That's what, that was the question. Well, let's avoid it. I don't want to be overpaid, trust me. So avoid it. I don't want anybody saying that. Are you going to avoid it? What do you want to avoid? My check. And come back with another one later? Yeah. Okay. I don't want, I don't ever want to be said that, so I'm going to pull mine out. Okay. Do you need to Which read, one? Is that? read the whole manifest now? I'm not doing that, no. No, subtract. Um, From the tables, right? The yeah. table. I'm just going to have her avoid it. Okay. So yeah, yeah, the five. You want to hold on? You 14, put in the box. 16. Oh. No, I'll, throw it. I'll give it to her. I'll just take it so she can't sign it. You want to take that? Yes. <laughs> then we're going to drive her nuts because she's not going to be able to find it in here. But no, that's all right. I'll just tell her. I don't know why she didn't <laughs> check it either. but. Mm. It's funny because I use the Excel and I drag the formula all the way down. <laughs> must have grabbed another, make must, sense. Must have grabbed another formula yeah. box. Because that's how you copy the yeah, formula, awesome. drag it all the way down. You yeah. just take the mileage and multiply it at 58 cents. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where I've got that one. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big deal. Yeah. So we're going to reduce it by 5. 14. By 14, 16. Wow, look at that. Almost did it. Almost. Six, five, <laughs> Best I've ever done. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, Thank then you. is that? that? Nope. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I sent you earlier on the week, last week, two um, new quotes that we received from the, um, let's start off right off the bat. Um, two people were here for, not here, Jack showed up late, for Christopher's swearing in. So I need um, Jan and John to sign Chris's paperwork and then give it to the town clerk to make it official. Uh, we saw the other one, so we can sign that. It did officially happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, I sent you guys two estimates, one for um, the Clinton Grove Academy bell tower, to scrape the bell tower, apply one coat of primer and two coats of latex time and materials fifty nine hundred and sixty dollars you guys saw that one then the paint the barn roof down at the Gordon Brown barns with the screw down the loose metal and paint the metal roof with a coating supplied by the town with labor and the lift supply thank you um, of fifty six sixty so um, what I had back to is, if you recall, Mildred Hall has a couple of different funds. Mm -hmm. Mildred Hall has Clinton Grove Academy money, it has Town Hall money, and it has, then we have the government building. So I asked Beth to do the ins and outs, and she went back to January of 2015, brought us all the way to 613 of 19, which takes out the 
library floor replacement, the gazebo, which is the electrical, and the re-roofing of the safety complex between the plus and minuses, which um, I can give you an, a copy of it, is 81000 528.59 left in that fund. So my thought was if you're going to do the Clinton Grove Academy, why wouldn't you take it out of the 70,000 238.68 that we have it for Clinton Grove in a separate fund? In Mildred Hall. Mildred Hall for the Clinton Grove Academy. Because <coughs> that's specifically airmarked for that. The other, there's only about $17,900 left in the um, Mil Mildred Hall Town Hall. And then we have the catch-all of the government building um, where everything comes from, which I think is the only place you can take the Gordon Brown roof if you're going to. Keep in mind, this does not include the 17000 and change that you owe them for payment number three. Mm -hmm. So if you take another 17 plus 6, you're definitely taking about 18 which is going to leave you with not a whole lot of money because you still have projects on the table, right? Um, I, I don't know how much a middle roof would be to put on there. Or a lot of money. It would, yeah. would be? It would a be lot a lot of money. money. Yeah. Minus put a good metal roof on, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Leave you about 58 five. Yeah, if we, you do both of those. But if we look at for the metal roof on the safety complex. And that doesn't, and that doesn't, that as you, we were talking yeah, this afternoon, bin, this yeah. morning, Southway needs a new furnace mm -hmm. yep. that will have to come out of that sooner or later. <coughs> mm -hmm. yep. And whatever we do with this one in this building. That's exactly what, I'm waiting on a price on that because um, I had Irving come and then um, they sent back a, um, an email stating that they needed to know the size of the square footage of each room and the amount of footage of baseboard that we have. So Kyle did that for me today and I sent it back. So I don't know what that answer is. After I get the um, breakdown of it, I will then send it out to get two other quotes, but I don't know until that answer is, is that going to be a project for next year? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the other thing firehouse, that, that's probably going to be four or five grand. Yeah. Yeah, because the East town hall was an eight. Yeah. If you go propane. Mm -hmm. Which so, that's already propane. Yeah. There. So if you, um, so there's some thinking we've got to do once we get quotes. Because the other thing is, I had the air conditioners um, cleaned because the one up in the cable room. Um, I think it was 80 degrees the other day with the air conditioner on. So Ooh. they came out and they cleaned it, um, which was 300 and something. I just got the bill. Um, and I think it's this one. I can't imagine it's too cold in here. Hmm. I think this unit doesn't sound right gone. anyway. Right. Yeah. The barons in this unit are gone. And yeah, those didn't seem to click up. Those Sanyos, they don't make anymore. Lo and behold. Instead. <laughs> so it's got to, um, I've got to get a quote for A, I asked for one new one, but they're 20 plus years old according to what paperwork he could find. Hmm. And what's going to happen is the rest of them are going to go simultaneously probably. So what I asked him to do is quote one of them and then get a quote for the balance to do them all. Mm -hmm. And that may be a number we could use next year. Mm -hmm. um, it's fine. I guess if you just let it get hot in here, you won't stay long. I don't know what you're... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> so um, I'm just saying, though, there is a problem with that one, so it's on borrowed time. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So what I would do is I've got them giving me a price. Mm -hmm. I've also got um, two others that are going to quote the same thing. Okay. And we can see what the numbers are. I guess, lo and behold, we could just tell them that we're going to hold that number... Until next year. Until next year and see what yeah. happens. Those especially, There's yeah. only so much money. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, if you think about it, Dick has always talked about us leaving some in case of an emergency for the winter. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I think it was about 60 we always tried to keep. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing I thought of was some of these projects that Benji's guys talked about, maybe be some fill-in, um, is doing the doghouse, closing that up for the winter. Those things, we pay them anyway. It would just be a matter of some supplies. That's fine. So I think we could do that, but um, I don't know what the list on the rot of the town hall is either, but we've got 17000 If it's more than seventeen, I don't know what we do. Right. Well. So. 
I, I, I'm 110% in that we need to solicit other quotes. Because yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not impressed with this work yet. Okay. I mean, I mean, we're we're at almost what, almost a year out now. Yeah. I mean, it's just it seems like and I'm not saying the quality work isn't going to be there, mm -hmm. but uh, this year, are we next year? Are we? I don't know. It just seems like it's dragging yeah. on forever. And I, and I went over and spoke with them today because the lift arrived today. Mm -hmm. right. I was supposed to come Thursday, so yeah. I went over um, and talked to them. I was going to the safety complex, so I stopped over there and. They're at the mercy of renting the lift, which they kept the lift last time. I didn't realize it wasn't an issue. They kept the issue was they only rented it for four weeks and they kept it for six oh. because of rain. Oh. And so now they're having struggles finding these things because now it's nice out. These yeah, companies are looking to. I mean, we went through Henniker yesterday. That the one at the Henniker mm -hmm. College is doing that. There must be six of them sitting there. Mm -hmm. That's two I saw in Goffstown today. Yeah. Right. I mean, so it's not, I don't think it's the quality, and I'm not saying. Oh, I'm not saying the quality either. No. Get, I think we should get some. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, I look. But again, I think you're going to find a struggle with the insurance part of it, as we talked about. Yeah, yeah. There's but then so again, many too, people that are so busy right now. But then again, too, if we throw that, that, that roof and repair out again, might get a couple of bites on it. The those guys that bid on it before? Yeah, the painting yeah. And, the, and the resecurement, you might get a couple of bites just mm -hmm. to try and get their foot in the door. Yeah. I mean, one of them followed up with us, so maybe they're hungry. This uh, is true. You know, I I definitely throw it out. Plus, it's it's a hundred percent violation of the person policy. Mm -hmm. It's it's way over. Well, so we had a price of a, about six times less than that. I think five times less than that before. Right, and I'm not saying that the I'm not I'm not saying the prices are off. I don't even know what the mm -hmm. what it is, but but again, it's over a grand. Mm -hmm. You know, it's they've got to be bid out. And, and not, I was thinking that, and I said this to I, somebody. I said I think that. You know, to put the lift on one and not the other was a little mm. to make yeah. them even. Yeah, and and you know the other thing is too is is yeah one one's a little different funding method. You know the the Clinton Grove because mm -hmm. that's got the Milton Hall fund. But again, we're still we're still the the designees to spend that, and I think right. we're it'd be prudent mm -hmm. to to do the, you know. And again, when they and <laughs> when they can get to it, twenty twenty. Mm. Well, yeah, I get one question. Uh, the Gordon Brown building, because it was brought up, oh, yeah, we're going to make a deal to have them go down and paint that roof. Now it's gone into something else, whether it was included in that price originally or not, and we never really got a clear So there's nothing, nothing can be done to that building Until other than they, the roof. Yeah. Because at town meeting, we said it was going to be cold storage. So be, there'll be no insulation, no, there'll be I nothing. Just, I understand that, but I'm sorry, but when we originally talked about that, the paint got gotten, uh, you know, the paint's been... Uh, gotten by the historical donated. society, and they were going to make the arrangements, and they were going to do it. Now I thought it was all done as part of the deal with the town hall, but yeah. obviously now that shows that it's mm -hmm. not. And I think mm -hmm. that uh, you know, but we have to do something because we're also stewards of the town property, yep. and, and we've got to do something soon. As some oh, of I this, get it. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. But I get it. Uh, the whole idea. Clinton Grove has been hanging fire for quite a while since I've been on the board, and that's that's you know, I'm I'm in my second term, and this has been. Yeah, goes going on six time. years. It goes back to my point of 17. And I'm saying... Um, 15. 15. 15, and I came for 16 for me. So I'm saying this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, uh, so... So this one was another two weeks. Yeah. So we've got to uh, exactly. put it back out again. And Well, uh, I can reach out to those six or seven that... Um, mm -hmm. bid on yeah. That bid on the safety complex, because those guys, I mean, mm -hmm. they're all really close. Um, when was that? When was the roof completed over there again? I forget. Which one? The safety complex. A couple of days after they stopped it. Yeah. It took yeah. three days. Three to four three days. days. Oh, I can. Pull, I I bet I can find it. Hang on. Because I got an email that I got a text message that night. Remember? Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, Saturday. Three weeks ago, yeah, Saturday. Like that. Three weeks ago, Saturday. I was gonna say Friday or Saturday. Thursday. Well, was that, I get an email um, at eight thirty on June sixth, Thursday night. Thursday night. Okay. So that they could move the dumpster. Century signs could come down. Oh, okay. They've got their signs out in the front lawn still of the safety complex. Yeah. I think the signs can come down now. They've been up for a month. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah, because they would have been done about. Uh, so the six, seven, eight. Six was Thursday. I think they were done by the weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. they were there on Saturday. I think they were cleaned up by Sunday. Okay. So, so that's when they were. Yeah, their yard signs can come down. Okay. I think it's been up long enough. Yeah. yeah. Um. 
And then I'll get I'll sub resubmit them to those guys interested in yep. going by and looking at them. Yeah, especially that one. I yep. mean, the, the, the painting it is what it is, I think. But but I think we need to at least make the make the attempt. You know. Well, the painting's going to be more. If my guess is they're going to have to tack a lift, lift on, on that one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well. If that's the case, then maybe well, somebody else bids it on ladders. I don't know. Do it old school and go with a ladder. Like I said, bids it, bids it on ladders. So. Mm -hmm. So I had a gentleman also come in from Eversource. Um, he actually is the one that goes out and um, he's doing the new Boston side of the cut. And he came over, which I gave you guys a map. Mm -hmm. New Boston Town Line is in the corner. So there, he was following along Old Francis Town um, into New Boston, and what he found was, if you look, if you take Poor Farm Road, I never went out there, but if you take Poor Farm Road, the highlighted piece is owned by the town of Ware. Yeah, that's the town of Forest. And what they had asked to do is, there is a dead cherry tree in the corner of the stone wall, leaning over the roadway in the wires. Um, but I don't know why we would keep it up if it's going to take down the water in a storm. So we need to give yeah, a push that for that. Done. Go down by there, you'll see <laughs> yeah. it. Well, I said that, and he said it's tough to glue it back up if you didn't want me to cut it. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah. And you know, so if it's a dead, it's going to cause you know havoc to the. Yeah. So if, it, if, if it's dead, guys, it's going to fall, and there's no impact to us. And actually, I talked it. to Benji or Joe, and it was on their list as one of the trees they were going to have to have mm -hmm. Bovier Brothers do because it was too big and it was up above the wires. So this takes one off their list. Perfect. So <laughs> yep. Takes a cost off us. Yeah, cost off us too. All right, That's so you okay with that? Absolutely. Yep. yep. Okay, it's removed. Okay. Hang on. I have... Um, I was hoping, which I just got on an email, so I'm not sure how you want to handle the Class 6 road. I just got a seven-page email right now from Mr. Drescher. <laughs> so I don't know that I can interpret interpretate it and read you all seven pages from my phone. Can you so forward it to us? I'll forward it to you all, but I will tell you that um, I had a visit from Art Siciliano today who was in on Worldly, remember, for that Wisp mm -hmm. Weiss mm -hmm. property? Yeah. Um, I'll review it, but at the end end of the day you'll have to decide what we're going to do on the 15th and I'll apologize. I don't know what else I can do. Yeah, it's fine. So if I forward the email on the class 6 road part Yep. Class 6 us. Okay. And at the end I just have a couple quick Chris dropped off one thing um, I have to ask you non-public. Yep. And then I have one other um, non-public um, it's really not non-public. Yeah, I'm not even going to go non-public. I don't think I have to. <laughs> rather, rather not if you didn't have to. Yeah. yeah. So um, what happened is um, you all know we went to court over the default budget. Yep. And so what happened is we ended up getting our... Um, we ended up not having to pay the attorney fees for the other party. Um, what was not asked for was the court costs in the court case. So there's a bill from the other attorney to us, or to our town council, asking us to pay $713, which is his court case, um, which, is the which is the sheriff's delivery, as well as the filing at the courthouse. So, um, according to Laura, we owe them $713, even though we didn't have to pay all the fees. We forgot to ask um, for Because it says, I'm asking to forward you me the case cost in the Kirk versus Clo case in the amount of $713. You successfully appealed the award of attorney's fees. However, the award of case cost was not appealed. And was not because we got a bigger checkbook. And was not affected by the court decisions. Accordingly, I request you or your client forward me a check in early. So it's really not non-public because it's public information. Public mm -hmm. information. So um, just to let you know, I don't think we have a choice. I don't think you need a motion, but it'll be on the next manifest. Manifest. Lovely. So, so I'll let you know that one. Thank you.
Um, that one. Yeah, this one. Uh, uh, and I can do it without names. We don't even have to. So I received a. Um, as you know, we've been short staffed. Mm -hmm. And um, there's one of the officers that, um, because we're still short staffed, is going to be at that point of losing some vacation time. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't, he's fairly new, he hasn't been asked. He hasn't asked before to roll it. Um, this year, due to that, there's a request to roll it or lose it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think, to me, right, if he's being um, awarding it or rolling it over, the request is there. Um, and Chris is aware of some of the background. You know, we can't just continue to hold on to everybody. Because you can only carry over a certain portion. We've done it before. But if, we, if we're not allowing him in a, in a way... Well, I just think because there's you've got a couple on military leave. Right. You get your, you've I got... Mean, um, a it's not his fault he can't take his vacation. No. Or her, whoever. No, it's a him. Okay. We've afforded others. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I'm looking to treat them the same. Yeah. Right, we've afforded others, but it's been had to be used within a year, right? Yeah. Right, which I think uh, if they I can. I think it's funny that he used vacation time for uh, the other thing. Yeah. Bereavement. Usually you don't use vacation time for that, but that's. No. You use sick time. Bereavement? Bereavement leave, yeah. No. 10 bereave hours bereavement. It says he used vacation time for 10 hours bereavement. Look on the second page. Yeah, the request comes from the officer. Look on the other page. Yeah, but I'm 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 not liking this first page at all. Not at all. Read it from the officer. Oh, from the yeah, from I'm the not, sergeant. I'm not liking that. All right. And and be, because of the the last paragraph. So to me, it would be whatever the personnel policy says. Because he's not on probation. He's on off probation. He's not off it yet. Right, because you, so he's it's not, six months after you graduate from the academy. Right, but he, technically he's not in the local. Yeah, but I don't think that excludes him from but we the still personnel still, rules. That's right, the personnel we, policy, that's correct. Right, but we've still allowed a one-time carryover. We right. just got I'm not saying yeah. we shouldn't, but I'm just saying I don't like that first paragraph. Okay. I don't like that first page, that's all. I'm not saying that we don't allow it. I'm just saying that. But that I think I think the two. I don't like no fingers fingers where they don't belong yet. Kind of. Mm, kind of. You know. Yeah. So. Kind of sort of. Kind of sort of. Right, wrong, right, different, but yeah, okay. it's fine. Yeah, uh, no, I know I, what you're I saying. Have, I have no I have no problem with it. Okay. But. Won't become we'll, a habit. We'll we'll wait yeah. for the other two to. Yep. Get yep. briefed on it. We kind of we kind of hogged it for a little while, so. Yeah. So, um, under the tax deeding, um, the, the one that we had before, you guys want me to proceed working with Laura to deed back in lieu of lot Yeah. Rate. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, um, I just got to get her to do the deed. Yeah. Also, while you're talking about that, see if there's another way to get around that. Well, yeah. I want to ask her because I just don't think, I think we're fighting a, I think, a battle. Yeah. I think we're getting the short end of this and it's like. Yeah, and, they la as, and they're laughing all the way. Because as long as your lot rent is paid, what's to behoove them for? Yeah, never and they're laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, and we're, that's what I. We're laughing to the. That's what I don't like either. Okay. We're crying to the poor house. <laughs> that's where we always are. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Um, are you all set after this? I was just going to do the administrator. Uh, not much left on it okay. after what yep, I've already talked fine. about. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Um, we'll just do, I didn't want to cut anybody off. Nope. I'm just making a note. I made notes on my right down now. Uh, we already talked about a good share of my government building ones. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. But some of these, like the town hall sign and things that, you know, we've talked about getting quotes for, 
I mean, we can get quotes for it, but I think there's some priorities that have to be laid out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've already discussed almost is there, every one of those. Uh, uh, did you hear anything back from Reed's Ferry? I didn't call them yet. Oh, you did. Last okay. week I was. Yeah, I know you were busy, so I don't know if you got a chance. I mean. No, that's on my list still. Okay. And um, that's why it says on there need mm -hmm. to call. Yep. Okay. That's why I didn't take it off. You guys all set with that? Yeah. Need to have representative come back and look at. It. That's why I didn't remove it, even though the gazebo's done. Yep. So I'll do that. Um, I I would like to make mention. And maybe this is not the right place to make mention, but I think there's a sign next to the gazebo now. Yeah. That, um, yeah, I was going to say something. About well, that. no. Friday night when we arrived at the gazebo, there's a big post, and nobody said a word. There was a pressure treated post with nothing on it Friday night and everybody said to me what's that what's that what's that I'm like I don't know hmm. so then when we showed up Saturday there's a sign there but we've talked about when this goes back to when Dick Butt was on the board doing something for the Eastman family hmm. meaning because of all the money that was donated so we, we, talked we talked about that in the, we in the talked gazebo about yeah. discussion. Doing, um, uh, we talked about, honestly, we talked about a bench years ago. Yeah. We talked granite about bench, a granite, talked, yeah. something Monument. at the town hall. We talked about some other thing. But I guess where I'm at is we made the library come forward to get permission for a sign. Yeah. And then we put up that. Uh, who, yeah, who and I don't up? know who put it up. I mean, I, I understand it probably where it came from because I was told who dug the hole and who watched. Mm -hmm. But why didn't somebody come to us and ask about putting it up? Yeah, it is town because property. Because the library got in a, uh, yeah, in a match, away. but, I mean, Mr. Perry had to come here to get permission to mm -hmm. put up the library sign. Right. There was a lot of grief going and back And then and it forth. was back and forth of where the sign was going to go. Mm-hmm. But we just arrived Friday night to a post. A post, and then now I see a sign there. I can't read it. I don't know. I like to I, know who I'm, gave him permission to put it up there. But I don't know. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I mean, I'm just saying property. we're trying to, you know. I guess I think it's something a little more. I don't, say, I don't want to be sarcastic and say it's unattractive, but I think something a little bit more personal, personal as a granite and a forever piece. Yep. Yeah. I know, really I know last weekend there was a lot of comments about that made, and they were pretty near everyone of them was negative. About that just sign. About yeah. that post in the sign. It yeah, just it doesn't fit. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. It, it wasn't the original intention to put the sign up there. It was to do what you're talking oh. about, but the okay. time period. Uh, who, and who, I think that that's who did what it? was. Who did the, it? Where was it discussed? Was it Historical who, Society? Who, or? Yeah, oh, well, I don't know who actually paid for it. I don't well, who did it? This yeah. historical. I mean, I well, can tell you who did it because yeah, I was told you know, who did it. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, where, where is permission? Where's permission granted? granted? Where did that, where did they I get believe the when they initially talked about doing the gazebo and stuff, there was because you I mentioned it. I, I'm sorry. I should. No, go ahead. No, I'm, I remember talking about doing something in memorial of, but right. it was. I guess I assumed you'd come back with some some elaborate. Would come back. Well, I yeah. wanted to put a, uh, a nice, nice sign, with a on letter the front of it. similar to what the library has. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, even and before they should have came forth. Yeah, no, for the I, board, I, I, for think town I think that's yeah. I, I know it, it was talked about with a donation by yeah. or yeah. or in memory yeah. of, but. I was totally taken back, and like I said, I can see a white thing with a bunch of leaves or whatever's on it. Well, the apple trees for the Cortland, because of the Cortland apples down at the, you know, that that's Cortland, the yeah. Eastman yeah. Hill and the and the farm, the, the apple orchard. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think that I don't that think, was the. I don't. Thought thought but it would have been nice when that weekend arrives for everybody to come down to me and say, "What's that?" I'm like, I don't know. Mm. It's a post. Yeah, yeah. All I can tell you what's a post. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I, I just I th feel. I think it looks out of place. I do believe a, a more permanent well, needs to be. That's there pretty permanent by the looks of it. <laughs> well, well, it's pretty. It's pretty solidly in there. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know if they cemented it in or anything. Oh, it's oh, pretty well, solid. I know and initially you know, it was going to be a stone with a. To get away from this post and one while we're on the gazebo. Apparently, there's a section of railing somewhere. Where's that? Yeah. Being Somebody took a section of railing. Who? Well, it comes. It came with one. From well, where is it? There's a second railing somewhere. Right. Yeah, where, where is, is it? it? No, we need well, to have that on town property. Uh, you know, know where it is. It is. There's 
Is it Gordon Brown? Lighting and whatnot that was removed Where from the gazebo. Gordon Brown. Brown. The Gordon Brown. Brought back. Yeah. I mean, it's like there's electrical oh. stuff that was taken out of the other yeah. one, and that's disappeared. And, and where's the, where's the original that, plaque uh, off the off the old one? Off the old gazebo. It's at that the barn. needs to be accounted for. They're all yeah, at the barn. It was at the barn. It was put at the barn. Yeah. Which is. Well, that's fine, but, but nobody's. I'm getting. Nobody's I'm getting questions. Right. Well, there used to be a plaque. Where'd that go? I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah but that's well, where it all is. I get, you know, like I said, the railings up, down there. Brought yeah. up to me. Where's right. the electrical stuff? Everything I could have used some of that in this building. And yeah. you know, and it was, it was just taken and gone. Nobody. At yeah. the time that we were there to have extra shingles, so there's a whole thing of extra shingles they have to. Oh, okay. good. Okay. Um, I think. I think moving forward, I think what we need to do is. Con contact historical signs they need something a little more permanent and the well, sign the will be here. yeah the signs coming out <laughs> because yeah. it, because a we didn't approve it B I don't I don't like the looks of it either I think it just it doesn't it doesn't match it it doesn't match the area right. mm -hmm. and again you know, you know like if I it, said it, it wasn't the original and again, right. again it goes to like that what did we just have the discussion of yeah the town, ordinance, on town ordinance town ordinance yeah signs yeah, it's yeah. Does, town that, does that match all the, the right size does it match all yeah. the zoning yeah, yeah I don't uh -huh. know no. yeah that's is it yeah we're in we're in the historical overlay so I don't know yeah. Um, no, I think there needs to be more something more permanent there, and I think the the board needs to approve it. Yep. It's town property. Well, it's it, yeah, and I just I um, mean, they get, like I said, I go back to the the library. They came in here, you know, the library came in with a nice yep, plan, and, a knife and, and this, and, and then it was the historical. Yeah, and historical uh, didn't want it where it was, and, and, and I can see both sides. I can see both sides, but I mean, but it was we, a, but we it had was, a good conversation. We had a public and we hearing on it. It was yeah. put to bed, and I mean, this time somebody just never yeah. asked, just went out and did it, you know, and I mean that that kind of circumvents. The process. The so, process. so the electrical stuff is down there that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and I think that think. They, it, just trying to think. Do I mean I must have a key to that barn? I would hope I, I would do. Just, yeah, I would hope you do. Because if we ever I don't have a, one, but I know uh, if we ever needed to use one of those retrofit things. Yeah, lights. I should be able to send Carol down to get one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See about. Well, good talk to him and see if he needs any of that. It's good to know where it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, I mean, here we all talk about how communication needs to improve, mm -hmm. um, you know. Town-wide. Town-wide, and then all of a sudden you, sh you see a post, yeah. and it's like, <laughs> no, here, we are, Again, it here goes, we are ready to swear the chief it, and his big post in the background goes, with nothing uh, on it. It goes to the same, no yeah. goes to the same thing as far as, you know, transparency and yeah, communication, no, and I no, mean, and this is the example. Yeah, but exactly, it's just miscommunication. Yep. So... Okay. So. Any more on the? Not on the air, no. Mm -hmm. um, the ACO position. I know you mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. um, they it, they do have one person that's moving through the process background just because um, mm -hmm. the they did an oral board like they do, and then um, obviously the the dollar amount was the dollar amount mm -hmm. at the meeting. Okay. So that conditional offer is the dollar amount per hour, and now that was needed to start the background, which they're in the middle of the background now. Um, I don't know how you feel about 10. Did you guys read your emails? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't read that one. I. Uh, well, I, I kind of asked. I'll just I'll just say that um, I reached back out to Tom um, to just for clarification in my mind, because I guess how I read it. Um, and sorry, I'm just going to try to find it. I'm not. Um, what I was confused a little bit with was it sounded as if we were going to. Oh, Jones. Um, it says, I appreciate having all the information at once for legal review. Piecemeal never works well, and it usually costs more. I said, if I read your email correctly, you'll be closing before the town gets to review the items with a question mark. So if that's the case, would that mean that you do not need the funds from the Charles and Ethel Eastman fund to close? It's going to be more like a reimbursement. Okay. And there was a question mark to that. And I said it's probably too late, but um, what would what good would the town review be after the closing? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I know the town council did some review for what you sent the Emma Sawyer trustees. If I recall, there was some confusion and a suggestion made to the public access language. I'm hoping that was done. I appreciate conserving the property. I'm just trying to wrap my head around everything. So I haven't got the answer back. But I took that, and you could tell me if I was wrong. I took it that we were going to get this stuff, but it was going to be after it was closed. After the fact. Wait. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, the way they came in that night, that, we, were, we had a deadline that they were supposed to present us, right. to us. Uh, right. And the deadline so was I didn't get an answer back, but that was the email just to check on because I said, you know, I just... What, why am I going to spend money on something that I can't change? You've already signed it, and the money's been distributed. Right. Yeah, right. no, I mean, you don't... So was there fundraising? And, and the, the will is that it'd be a benefit to the town of Ware. Well, filling their coffers back up is not a benefit to the town of Ware. No. Well, I'll so let you know what... You know, I'll forward you as soon as I get a reply. I'll forward yep. like I did before. I don't know what the answer is because nobody replied, but... I, I don't know if you guys felt the same way I did. I, I felt it was an yeah, it's like yeah, it's like closing the barn after now the horse is out. Yeah, yeah. it's like now that I just write it. Yeah, it's yeah, no, I agree. I, uh, yeah, and then I um, so as soon as I get it, I'll flip. I mean, it. we had a, the they had a deadline by the thirtieth, and no, they closed the twenty seventh. They closed Thursday. But I mean, um, it's already closed. They, they, <laughs> well, they had a deadline to get it to us. Well, they had a dead no, no. The thought, arm no, they grant, had a the arm line. grant was only good through the thirtieth of June because the arm grant was done through the state. The state years changed okay, July first. That's, right. that's right. They changed the fiscal year July first. So right. I mean, it had to be done and closed. So I right. only knew they were closing um, because the did, chairman of the and when, did they, and when Trust, did they come in? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, April, I April, believe. Yeah. So but I look when, back at it. Um, I got notified because the chairman of the trustees said, "Did how'd you make out with the review?" And I'm yeah. like, "What review?" Yeah. So she forwarded me what she got. I forwarded it to Laura. Laura gave back a response, and I sent it to them before it closed, right. just because there was some concern with Laura's language. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it changed. I hope it did. So that's the only reason I, I knew when it was closing because uh, I came through uh, the trustees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And again, you know, I don't want to start giving somebody. Oh, no, money until we know exactly well, what, yeah, what we're getting. Well, uh, you know. I think it's correct that, you know, it, it wasn't, I mean, it was to be the benefit of the town, and if we're just going to write it to PLC. Yeah, that's right. not the benefit of the town. Right. But we'll have to see. I mean, we'll I just asked some yep. questions. I'd like to know. Because I think, well, I think we have a right to know. You know. Um, and I already told you about the Class 6. I'll forward to you, and then on the 15th, we're going to have to... You're going to have to read it a couple times because it's very wordy. Yeah. And it re well, just Bill gets wordy. Bill gets um, wordy. I know. But I Bill think what's going to happen, though, is I know it too well. Um, there was somebody out. I got a phone call because somebody was out on Wordley Road. I sent Benji down, and they were just kind of cleaning up the cut that was there. Um, and then I did have a visit from the uh, surveyor that was here, Art. And I told him I'd have an answer, mm -hmm. but um, I had hoped to have it so I could read it and have an answer for you. But I just got it while we were sitting here. I kept, that's why I kept checking. So that's fine. It'll be on the fifteenth. That's true. Okay. So we don't need anything. We've solved all our problems. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the three things I've got. Except uh -oh. for what? Uh -oh. the, four, the four things I have. Yeah. You uh -huh. have four things. I have four things. But you go ahead with yours first. No, I just if you want to pass those over to those are pictures I have, oh. Naomi of the town hall before. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay. So that because it, it wasn't right. They did something. They changed something today. Oh, it's so now I only now good. I only went but over. That was when. Tyler was putting up the, the flagpole. Flag oh, he's looking yeah, at it to see why flag. everybody's <laughs> like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some before us. And I have. Okay. So the the gate there. Yeah. The bottom ones with the fence. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. They yeah. did the top ones. The bottom ones haven't been done yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I knew um, they were back to do that because that was still on the stage. And the eight's back up, you've all seen? Yep, I have, yes. thankfully. <laughs> That's why I wasn't bugging you. <laughs> I saw okay. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, correspondence of the business? I got okay. a couple of things. All right, mm -hmm. go ahead. We seem to be getting emails from a person on Boyce Road that nothing's being done on that Kelly's property. researching because um, it's going to be, mm. I mean. In, I had that down, too. Yeah, I talked to her. About no, no. Our, our person that did all is the talking voice? is no longer with us. The code enforcement. So she's trying to go back to the file to mm -hmm. figure out what was promised, what was told. Yep. Um, but she is gathering information, and she's planning on bringing a plan to the him. Owner in, yes. Yeah. And yes. have a sit down with him and give him the discussion yep. of what you're going to do. Every time that that person has emailed us I've emailed him back okay just and and basically and I've I've copied 
yeah. Kelly on them as yeah. well. Yep. Um, you know, and and basically said that because of the changing of the guards that you know yeah, it's going to take a little time well, to, to reorganize and yeah yeah because she gathered some information she's going to go down in the basement because some of the files are moved because it I goes way back I spoke to her about some of it goes way back there's been decisions court decisions yeah. and then they go to court and he claims that he's got um, medical issues and he can't do this and can't do that so they kind of let him the court lets him slide we've taken action but at this point I guess she's get, trying to get a different plan Approach. together that this is going to be it. Well, I think a she's going to put her foot down, too. Put her though, foot down and, and bring it to court that they he hasn't followed through as he's been ordered and, and so forth, and that, you know, this is to bring the whole history in. Um, and then the other part is, I said, you know, what about DES? DES is, doesn't even want to touch it. That's, no. that's the thing. No. Um, they'd, be, they'd be there for years. They're, they're, they're supposed to be the armored and... You know, they're supposed right. to be the major enforcement for some of this stuff, and they they don't even. I think they look to us to clean it up, just yeah. like some other. Yeah, because they don't want to spend the right. right. They don't want to spend the money. Uh, the, the other thing I had: Have you done anything on uh, Mary's position? No. Not yet. No. Nope. I know you I, said you were going to post it. Uh, well, post I don't know that I said I was going to post it. I was going to wait and see where we were at the end of the six months, but you haven't seen those printouts yet, um, because I think you're going to have some issues with the paying out for a contract and if you just with one department I just want to see where we are bottom line altogether no reason other than I was just going to wait and see where we are because we paid her through the well, I, I understand this is that. the last one yeah last check this should yeah. be the last one yeah. Yeah. really can't go without somebody up there too old I wouldn't think just putting more work on other people yeah True. Okay. I'm good. That's it? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. You didn't touch any of my four, so. Yeah, mm. Okay. I got one other thing. <laughs> okay. There's already, and there's already been a, a couple of blurbs on social media. One <laughs> of them against, uh, um, one of them is the parking up at the Chase Park again and the no parking. Um, uh, um, complaining about that uh, to the point where. Um, they're out on the road. Nobody knows how to read. And, you know, it, it got pretty heated. At this a couple times, yeah. I saw that, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, one, one of them anyways. Yeah. Park. Uh, yeah. Park. They parked the road. Parked out the road. The yearly park. occasion. Yeah. That's a that's an enforcement on uh, Yeah, traffic. that's right. It's a yeah. traffic right. enforcement. Um, the, other, the other thing I saw was uh, um, a certain person was on social media um, lambasting the board of selectmen. It had to do with, like, parks and rec and some of the other stuff that we are not in tune with the people in this town and it has to do with uh, the uh, whack um in that that the board caters to 65 plus people or something to that effect and uh, <laughs> you know uh and uh, um in fairness there was another party that responded saying that uh you know uh, that they believe that they might possibly be wrong and in that they <laughs> might come, possibly be wrong come come uh Come March, you know, maybe run for the board, <laughs> you know, yeah. or, or run for a position. Right. And, you know, and, and in the answer to that here on this end, I, I think we try to bend over backwards for parks and rec and to try and get things done down there. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't always what fall to we, us. What have we done? No, I mean, we try to make sure that they, whatever the programs yeah. they want to put forth, we try to help them with it. But, I mean, when the voters vote them down for their warrant articles, that is that's not against us. That's not against us. I that's mean, the town voting. Uh, that's no, the town also, voting. but we... We don't, I mean, it's not us to who has a discussion with anybody, but you know, there's I've had a discussion with the maintenance part, uh -huh. and I said we put very little, if anything, mm -hmm. into the maintenance. Oh, absolutely, you know, we should be putting more into oh, the yeah, maintenance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tell them they're not just going to stay looking pretty by itself. No, yeah. no, they need, they need help. Um, um, you know, um, when we, when I was part of the football, we, we did partner up and. We did yep. the calcium and we oh, yeah. did some mm -hmm. we, aerating and we did all these we, other things because we use the field. We use mm -hmm. the field. But there's more and more programs being added and we don't add any more field space. Yep. And we've we don't added field hockey. We've now um got lacrosse. You've got lacrosse, yep. but you you now and I think it's a great thing, don't get me wrong, but we don't have field space. Right. You know, you you're opening and starting them out a lot younger than you ever did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, but they've got to have some place to play. I know it was brought up before that to, I guess by regulation, the soccer field at Bolton 
is not regulation. It's small. It doesn't get enough sideline to correct, it. That is correct. And, we, and yet, we went through the, and we yet we tried to go it. through to get get no. some of the stuff done, yeah. and and uh, you know some of the same people who complain about it, oh, it no. voted vote against it or, or speak against right, it. Right, but that that had to do with how it was constructed, and there was a lot line adjustment with yep. the neighbor, um, and it just never got constructed. Yeah, and I mean when it came time to. You know, put up. It's like trying to get the road fixed down there. I mean, before there's a big emergency and you can't get a piece of apparatus, uh, i.e., oh, the I ambulance know. or the fire yeah. truck. It's always um, crazy down there. Um, and uh, that gets voted down. I mean, we're there's trying to do these improvements, right and I don't think it falls to the board. And I mean, I know we, the Parks and Rec, <laughs> try to get this put forward, but at times it doesn't. It's the, the, the voters. Yeah. You know, it's not up to us. Well. And we I mean, tried we've, to. we've always thought, you know, I mean, you know, the, the couple of things that come across from Parks and Recs for the ballot, you know, CIP approves them and then we hear them and, mm -hmm. yep. and you know, we, we kind of ask for a little consistency sometimes, but, you know, they're trying to put spot fires out as they have them. And, yep. and we've I think that they've got to turn around and we've, we've given them the support. We've given them the support on this end and it's just, it comes up to the, the ballot and, you know, it's the townspeople, so. Well, I, you know, speaking from the other side of it, looking at it from you know, having had green kids on mm -hmm. teams and so forth, where are all those parents? Yeah. When it comes time for the deliberative session, where are the parents? Deliberative and, and recruit them for, the, for voting. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah I mean, for time, yeah, for meeting, yeah. For the yeah. second session. No, I, uh, yeah. no right. I agree. I mean, her grandkids, I mean, my kids play. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, we used to practice off-site. Mm -hmm. They still I do. I mean, the football practices in Jul on August in Henniker. Or, and then yeah. or they use the high and school. We, and I mean, granted. I remember doing soccer up there. Mm -hmm. It was a family member that allowed his cow pasture to be used, but yeah. we still we <laughs> yeah. practice somewhere right. else. Yes. Um, there's, no, I, I mean, maybe you can say it. We had a different chance then, but. I mean, um, I do know that the football doesn't practice even at Bolton anymore. No, they don't. They go up to the high school. They go up to the high school, oh, or they, they end up at Henniker again. Yeah, so, you know. it's oh. Henniker, the high school, and then okay. they play games down there, and so that's the why there's a little bit of a struggle because, you know, the field's getting torn up, mm -hmm. and it's kind of going to be game time, and they've gone everywhere. Mm. And then, but, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's, and I'm not, I'm not either way. I mean, I'm going to have my kids that play someday too, but yeah. um, I just think, I don't know, you, you've got to, we've got to look ahead <coughs> yeah. um, to think about where else they're going to play. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, you can't continue to offer a sporting program. Or and recreational and, fields. And, and, and intend, and this isn't a slight, is to be. Um, Top notch. Is to be competitive. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah then one night for half an hour yeah you know um, i mean you want to give and, there, and it's you know it's just something that is not enough field space but no. we do have field space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we have space that needs to become a field is quaker street there's 48 i was there. gonna say yeah. plenty of space there there's, 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 there's supposed to be fields to the left right. right cut it up yep yeah but, but but then again, yeah, too, yeah. I mean, I, I would, I mean, I'm not because trying to be selfish at all or anything like that, but yeah. I would want to see some fundraising done from the, from all the teams that would use it, yeah. whoever it may be, yeah. as well as mm -hmm. town contribution. But I would want to see a little initiative yeah. from them as well. You know, if you really want it, then, then yeah, let's, let's do some fundraising. Let's get well, people I, involved, I you know. I just figured that, that, um, you know. Text message, or oh, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, whatever it was, <coughs> one of those social media. Social which media. I don't, I don't follow. Um, comes out and kind of does that. Yeah. I'm going, well, yeah. you know, how come nobody well, comes? How come you didn't? You know, first stop is you get a problem. Why didn't you come here to the meeting? Well, into a meeting and get on the agenda and come to the meeting. Or, or, or second, you know, um, you know, go to the. the we're not the stop. It doesn't come to us and stop here. It goes to the the citizens, and it's the yeah, you know, but deliberative. But and you gotta voting. remember. But you gotta remember. It's only fifteen hundred people that that make the decisions. Yeah, fifteen hundred right. to two thousand to make those decisions. So of of sixty one hundred voters. Yep, that's right. You know? Oh, I I know. So I mean, it, that that's what it boils back to, and I'm sure that the individual that spoke was not one of the twenty one hundred or two thousand fifteen to two thousand people. Yep, you know, I'm just. So we'll, we'll see. You know, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I, there's. 
it just seems to be there's something that's missing, but I don't know what. I don't either. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It just kind of took me. I'm going like, Offer really? Offer a scratch it, ticket to a lottery or something, and they'll come. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Maybe I'll even come down. So. The winning, give them the winning scratch ticket. All right. Um, all right, I'll start. That's all I had, so. Okay, good. You got one more thing before I yeah, start my one list? One more thing. The Patriotic Committee last weekend was approached with a complaint that we offer no handicapped parking anywhere near that thing. Yeah. And I was at the, it was lucky, that, I guess lucky or whatever, but the Chief Moore was there talking about it. And he's going to look into it, and the committee, that those parking spots alongside East Road would be, the, should be designated non Yep. Handicap for handicap. Yeah, because oh. I noticed that Saturday morning I was yep. down there early. Yep. And man, the first time we've ever had it. There it, was it, the yeah. woman. The person people. was right. Hundred I mean, percent. We, we yeah. often we have no or none, and we're supposed to. So, so I think that's that's. I know Chief Moore was going to yeah. bring okay. it up, and I just wanted to bring it up here that those. Okay. I think there's six spots yeah, there. Five or six spots. Five yeah. or six. Five they or should six, be yeah, designated. Yeah, people were backing in. They were getting their lawn chairs out. Oh, and yeah. They were going to put it on the that, grass that, right that, early. And I'm thinking yep. it's only 10 o'clock. All of them should yep. be handicapped parking. Okay. And be enforced. Yep. But I, I also mean, think that goes to the gazebo with. True, that, to use the gazebo. That ramp yes. up to and, and that yeah. it would. Kind of caveat. But I mean, yeah. Yeah. the thing of it is, if so you're going to do that, you got to make sure that they enforce it. It's not like only when there's an event going on. I mean, you can't post those as handicapped. And then not enforce it. And then let other people park there and not enforce it. Oh, yeah. Right. So, I mean, uh, so it's... That's, no, good that's something that's going to be yeah. coming it's, along. If it's posted, need, need then... It needs to be coming along so that next year... Yeah, and I think that's something... That. And, you know... I would agree. We're remiss for not doing that because we could... Would there be a problem, though, with an upgrade coming from the handicapped well, access up to the gazebo? No. No, I think it's actually it's enough, a, long enough run. That's yeah. a ramp. Yeah. If you I'd put it in a nice ramp. A yeah. little bit a little bit of dirt work, not a whole lot probably. Yeah, put so it might be a little bit of Eventually, it would be fine. Because I actually walked over there more than I ever did. Yep. <laughs> that, well, no. I had my granddaughter, but she was in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> keep going over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I never really have walked up honestly it. around Yeah, it. it's not that It's not yeah, that bad. It looks worse than it is. I think it could be... For, I don't know what the slope is that you have to drop per, but I one, don't one think it's so much bad. An inch. Yeah, one inch uh, and I don't foot. think it would be one, bad. No, it's two foot. It's quite a ways. I mean. Yeah. It's probably, it yeah. wouldn't be any worse than probably our ramp out here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it definitely would be any worse yeah, than the ramp. Yeah. yeah. Be less yeah. than that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. 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 So. Y'all good? Yep. Now you're good. Okay. <laughs> we'll let you speak. All right. Okay. Yay. Okay. My turn. Done. <laughs> Okay. Uh, first thing is on the town website. It says the police chief still Sean Kelly. Well, you know, I don't know where you people look. Carefully. No, my husband sent me a text and said Tim Redmond's still on there, and I can't find him. He is. Well, there, there, there I don't there, know, but it was told to me. <laughs> there, there, there is the town website, and then there's another town website okay. that, that's that's way expired, and I and maybe that's why I'm finding. Okay, but, so. But no, th this one Sean says Sean Kelly. Kelly on it, and okay. and it's it's. There, the, there's a link to the Wear PD, and the Wear PD has changed it. Yeah. But, but actually, ours has not yeah. been changed. All right, okay. and, so. I, and I'll hunt again for someone else's name because yeah. I looked and I. <laughs> well, there, somebody else said that, but I couldn't a find it. Town site out there. Yeah. And it, and it has like well, information from. Well, if you pop ago. up a certain thing to make a complaint to the the highway department, I know it was popping up with Tim's name as the superintendent, right. but on the. Hmm. If you look well, at the apartment know. heads on the other end, it, it has Benji. Yeah, I mean. We also had that other road too. On there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We don't want right, to talk about. It. <laughs> um, in route to the accident tonight, I noticed that there was a stone wall removed on 149 for a driveway access. Shortly thereafter, Mount Dearborn Road, like 25, almost 30 feet of it gone, and I don't I don't see it anywhere. On the property, they put like a second driveway into a barn. Okay. I, I want to say it's right at the corner of Mount Dearborn and oh. 149. Huh, that must have been recent. It was the dirt works fresh, pretty fresh. Yeah, because I was down there. Yeah, I mean, I would say I would say within the last two so weeks. So if I'm going up 149, Mount Dearborn's on my right. Yep. Yep. Next yeah. house. The next house after the church. I think it is the, the big, church. The big white place. I think I think it is the, right. the church. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is the church, and it, and it's it's past the building. It looks like it goes out to the the carriage shed out back. 
Mm. So. Okay. So, the, no, so it's the, at, at the church. It's the okay. church property. Yeah, I believe so it's the church. church. So it's the church. Oh. I believe so. Mm. It can't be the church. It can be next to the church. It could be next to the church. Because the church has got a different owner. Somebody yeah, asked it, me it's, right, it's right there within. Because they were looking to have a wedding there of who to reach. It's before the cemetery, I can tell you that. Okay. All right. We got an email regarding River Road and Riverdale? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I forwarded that along to Chris, uh, to me about that. Yeah. Chris and to Benji. I yeah. forwarded it along to both of them. Um, I saw Chris at breakfast on Sunday. He just happened to pop in. Mm -hmm. um, we chatted a little bit about that, and he said he's got a couple of ideas. Yeah, he's going to talk to Benji. Yeah, and Benji and him are going to try and work a plan up and go down there and see if they can't um, get on the other side of it. I know it's a terrible intersection. We all agree with that. Oh, yeah. um, yes. But that's but the, it, is it the, it's coming from Parker Station Way. Yes, I believe right. so. And it's the shrubs on the right-hand side? Yeah, yep. I believe so. Yeah, I don't know how you're ever going to do anything there. No, I know. But because that's... Well, the only thing is, in what Chris didn't know we talked today was, tonight, is <clears throat> um, that intersection is, because he wanted to, like, narrow up the intersection mm -hmm. or something, and I said, well, that intersection you have to be careful with because the truck traffic has exactly. to go right. Yes. No, I know. Which, because it can't go down Parker Station. That's right. So he wasn't aware of that. So yeah. him and Benji, I said, you know what, you two go down yeah. there. And work it out. Yeah. And see what you mm -hmm. want to do. So, yeah. yes. Yeah, they can go down until they hit the Goffstown line, then they get a back up and come back. Yeah, yeah. there's no warning. <laughs> I <No>. know. <laughs> so they are going to, that's on his radar. Yep. yep. So that was just something I wanted to mention. Um, I was approached at the uh, Patriotic Celebration by an individual who would like to volunteer their time to go up to the transfer station and um, basically with with very, very limited to none supervision, clean the um, the um, trading shack out, the, the goodie shed. Um, it's called the swap shop. Swap shop, swap trading shop. shed, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, it just it looks overgrown. Stuff's put there that shouldn't be there, um, and I'm sure the attendants are busy doing other things. Um, it is cleaned out regularly. There's somebody who goes in there and used to, used to, used to. Yeah, used, used to. to, used to. Okay, when did that stop? There's All been right. several. There's been several people. Yeah. When I was there, there was a couple of women came in there mm -hmm. weekly. Yeah. They quit, and then yeah. this other guy came in and yeah. He's he got chastised for clean out, meaning stuff like off. clean out to take, take it somewhere. No, no, take swallow. the junk and and separate the junk from the actual stuff that could be actually be swapped. Because obviously some people put it there because they probably don't know any better where to put it. So they say, well, we'll just put it over there and somebody else's problem. Along with the TVs and microwaves. Right, and everything. right. Fee based stuff that goes in there. Exactly. So that would be the stuff that that this person would move, um, but really doesn't want to be under the supervision of, you know, who's down there. Um, as far as employees, because because again, it's you know wants to volunteer the time, doesn't want to be on the payroll, mm -hmm. come and go as they please type thing, just go down there and kind of vault and give back to the town to do that. Um, and I said I'd run it by the board, and I know one of the one thing with stuff like that is this is you know um, they have to be supervised some way mm -hmm. because of the fact that a you have traffic coming through there at all yeah. different times. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so they'd have to meet. Well, they'd have to follow we, the town. The town, the town stuff. Yeah. Plus, the other fact is they have to check them to make sure that they're an, acting in a safe and proper manner, yeah. no matter what they're doing. Because if they yeah. get hurt, yeah, we own them, and that's well, the biggest thing. With it'd be like it'd be like you putting the microwave in the cell phone. I mean, and you, you trip and fall. I mean, you're hurt. And, you know, yeah. Same same thing. But I mean, I mean if you're doing it as the individual bringing it up there, that's one thing. That you as a, mm -hmm. as a taxpayer going to dispose of that yep. something you bring it up and you slip and fall that's on you yeah but if you're up there volunteering your time outside of that mm -hmm. outside of you bringing trash up and it's doing it for the town i know there's a whole bunch of stuff on that and um because i've been through that before and you have to be real careful because of the yep. liability yep. Mm -hmm. and then the next thing you have somebody mm -hmm. that's a volunteer gets right. hurt and then guess what mm -hmm. we own them right right but, you know, this person just wanted to, to and, volunteer the time to, to kind of organize that. Didn't want to, you know, get, as, as a town employee, didn't want to get roped into, you no. know, se separating the cans and no, stuff no, like no, that. No, that's, just wanted to focus on that particular that, that's spot. Fine. Yeah, and if they make that clear, then that's fine. And the only other yeah. thing is to make sure that, they'll, yeah, they'll be somewhat supervised that, okay, if you're going to take this stuff out, this is where it's going to go. Right. You can't just. And I think that that was, you know, that was understood. Okay, so that's, that's but, the biggest thing, I think. Right. You know, but so. Uh, but again, I just wanted to, you know, it, again, it's it's help, yep. free help. Yep. I need something. 
Mm-hmm. It's free help. Yep. And, and oh yeah, really I mean, I, I I know that I was up there once. They cleaned it up pretty good in one in one way, and then go back about three weeks later, and it's yeah, and that's just it. And I mean, it's tough. You got two guys up there. Mm-hmm. And then every now and then you get one of the guys from down the garage, and I mean it's like and you got your part timers on the weekends, and you get your part, and it just gets um, yeah, it gets it gets yeah, and, it, it gets away, yeah. and I and I get that. There's other things going on, so I just wanted to run it by the board. If that's all right, I'll have Naomi uh, just clarify the 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 needs, yeah, the ground of, rules, and the ground rules. If there's anything liability waiver, anything needs to be signed, and yep. and work with maybe Matt on that, and Benji, and and you know maybe that person go up there a couple times. Probably check with Prime. A couple times a month, maybe. Yeah, you know. yeah, they do. Yeah. I go for volunteers. Yeah, because yeah, I know they have stuff for... ask Benji how he feels? I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Benji, yeah. Matt. Because I know that if you turn around and put somebody up there for um, community, community service, service. You, they have to follow suit. Right? Yeah. It's the same yeah. thing. Right, and, that, and that's fine. I'm sure that there's a liability waiver to be yeah. signed, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, you know, whatever, you know, again, I don't think they're going to turn away, you know, free assistance up there. I mean, I wouldn't, but that's just me. One, two, three, four. I think I get it. I think it's it. Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay. I got one more thing I got to go later, but that's just me and her. So. All right. Uh, anything else? Anything else? No. No, done. All right. Uh, move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. I would say 4th. Uh, yes. Happy 4th of July. Oh, yeah. That's Thursday. Yeah.